This is one other approach to burning, very similar except putting a barrel over top of it and using the barrel as a mechanism for feeding additional fuel into it. I didn't do that with the first one because it was pretty small and old and dry. This one here is really a better way of doing it. I did do the same ventilation holes through it, horizontal holes from around the base all meeting into a central functionally chimney stack in the middle. But this was a pretty large cedar tree that was just overrun with wisteria. Now this is, a lot of the wisteria is gone now. It was around and some of it's been fed in the fire and some of it was dragged off to the burn pile. The burn pile. But this thing was just crazy loaded with wisteria. So, regular burn barrel, holes drilled around the bottom to let air in when it does eventually sit down even on the dirt so it can still get its ventilation using little wisteria pieces to feed the fire. That barrel was full of wisteria 15 minutes ago. It's only been burning 15, 20 minutes. So we'll let it run. And for scale, this was the last section of trunk I cut off right there. And that was half of the trunk. It was a split trunk. There was two of them. So it was a very large tree. I'll stick a picture maybe in the middle of it when I was dragging it down to the burn pile with the tractor. This should burn a lot cleaner and hopefully quicker. I've just never done the open burn with the vent holes before. That's why I wanted to try that small one. But this really is the better way to go if you have access to a burn barrel. So we'll go here. It's been about 20 minutes into the burn now and we'll check on it as it goes. Well, there was so much wisteria, I gave in and actually I'm burning it on the side in addition to putting it in the barrel itself. It just goes on and on and on. Every time you dig one up and cut it off, you find two others. So I'm going to burn it and see if maybe that helps kill it because it runs all over the place underground. If you're not familiar with wisteria, it's, it's like the virus as far as plants go it just spreads and destroys so we'll see what we can do here but we're one hour into the burn or so and it's making pretty good progress down inside the barrel keeping a low flame but consistent which is what you want because that's where the stump is is down low so we'll just keep on trucking but hey, i just gave in and decided to burn the wisteria in addition to putting it in the barrel it's just too much of it and also a side lesson learned here messing with these stumps i've been a fan of mechanics wear brand gloves for years uh I tried a new line called their Fast Fit. Basically, it has elastic instead of Velcro. And it is disappointing. This is my second day of using these gloves. And they're just wore clean out. They are nowhere near as stout as the old original ones. That is really disappointing. So, little side sermon there. Avoid these Fast Fit mechanics. They're, they're just pointless. You ever notice how you get in the middle of a project and then something interrupts and you have to start it all over again a couple of weeks later? This stump with the burn barrel on it was in the process when we had a burn ban announced for the county, so it had to be sidelined for a while. But now we're good again. And just finishing up, it is down to just about nothing considering what it started as. It was pretty darn big. So with any luck, this will be the end of it. The burn barrel helps with controlling the flame and letting it withstand wind and also concentrating the fire better. Plus, 
all of this space here was just lousy with wisteria that had grown up in and through the tree. So the barrel let me toss the wisteria in on top of the fire. That was the main reason for using the barrel on this particular one. So pretty much the end of it. Uh, both approaches to burning work. To me, the biggest key is drilling some holes ahead of time. Some of those you probably can't see anymore. It's been so long. But there we go. The last of the burning of that huge cedar stump.